हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नेटवर्किंग ट्यूटोरियल तो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट एन एच आर पी नेक्स्ट हॉप रिजोल्यूशन प्रोटोकॉल इफ यू मिस्ड एनी वीडियो व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू वीपीएन टॉपिक्स यू कैन चेक आउट आइदर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और इन द आई बटन ऑल द वीडियो लिंक विल बी अवेलेबल देर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर टूडे सेशन NHRP stands for Next Hop Resolution Protocol. NHRP is a layer two protocol like ARP, Address Resolution Protocol. It is used to resolve the client queries for public IP address. We can understand it uh, clearly through the diagram. We have branch one, branch two, and also branch three. they are connected to each other with isp internet service provider first ip address belongs to the isp next for branch 1 this one 100.1.1.100 and for branch 2 101.1.1.100 and for branch 3 102.1.1.100 for tunnel ip address for branch 1 let's say for branch 2 192.168.1.2 and for branch 3 uh, it will be 192.168.1.3 next what will happen when we will configure the dmvpn we will configure the branch 1 as hub or server and branch 2 and 3 as spokes when they will boot up they will create a permanent static tunnel with the server same branch 3 will create a static tunnel with the server when one spokes wants to communicate with another spokes a dynamic tunnel will create between two spokes to create that dynamic tunnel what will you require we will require yes we will require the public ip address of the spokes so which protocol we will use to resolve that query or which protocol will be used to get that information that what is the spoke public ip address yes we will use here the nhrp protocol again i am repeating NHRP stands for Next Hop Resolution Protocol. It is a layer two protocol like ARP. ARP is used to resolve IP address to MAC address. Yes, Address Resolution Protocol is used to resolve the IP to MAC. Same here also. NHRP Next Hop Resolution Protocol is used in DMVPN. to resolve the public ip address when we will use dm vpn we configure the hub and spoke where hubs are the servers and spoke are the clients when they will boot up they will create a static tunnel with the server branch 2 will create a static tunnel and branch 3 will create a static tunnel with server but when one spoke wants to communicate with another spoke yes when branch 3 wants to communicate with branch 2 what they will do yes they will create a dynamic tunnel or we can say a dynamic tunnel will create between spokes but to create that dynamic tunnel branch 3 wants to know what is the public ip address of branch 2 and the branch 2 wants to know what is the public ip address of branch 3 
so they will use nhrp they will send the query to server then server will give response to each other that branch 2 public ip address is this one and branch 3 public ip address is this one in this way they will communicate they will transfer the public ip address and create that dynamic class in this way we will use nhrp protocol thank you thanks for watching networking tutorial channel if you like this video please comment and subscribe the networking tutorial stay tuned with me for the next video thank you